another Adobe Illustrator quick tip by Fatfly Design. Let's take a look at live corner widgets in Adobe Illustrator. Now back in the old days, if you wanted a rounded corner rectangle, we had to go to quite an extreme to get that done. And then a rounded corner rectangle tool was added and we can draw it that way. Well now we have corner widgets, which make it even easier. So if you draw a rectangle with a rectangle tool, it obviously has 90 degree angles at the corners. But what if you wanted to round those corners? You can do that. So I'm going to zoom in here, and what I'm talking about are these little circles that appear. So I'm on the selection tool, got a rectangle that I drew with the rectangle tool, and I can come up here and click on this. It's a little hard to see, but right below my cursor, it gets a little rounded corner symbol. And if I click and drag, it's going to round the corners the same amount on all four corners of my rectangle or square. I can round them and then I can come back and even change my mind and change that radius. Or I can take it all the way back to its original square or rectangle shape. Now what if I only wanted to round the corner on one corner but not the others? What I would need to do is choose the corner I want to round click once on the widget it will turn sort of a darker blue and then click and drag and I'm rounding it only on that corner what if I want to round this corner and this corner well I would click once on this corner and I can do them both at the same time by holding the shift key down clicking on a second corner widget and then clicking and dragging and I can do two corners at the same time you might also notice that as I click and drag, it is showing me the radius amount. So you can actually be precise with this. And in this case, I've got a one inch corner radius. So maybe I want to do that on multiple objects in my scene. So that's the corner widget on a rectangle. Now I can do this on other shapes too. So I've drawn a star with my star tool. And there are corner widgets on each of the angles. Now it behaves just a tad bit differently here. When I select with my selection tool, I can't see them. So I need to go to my direct select tool. Now I can see them. If I choose one of these and click and drag, it will round all of them. You can see I can get some nice new interesting shapes here. If I want to do a single one, I click on it once and then click and drag. I have to use the shift click method. So I'm going to click on this one and then shift click this one and shift click this one and I can round specific angles that I want to round. Same as the polygon tool. So I drew this with the polygon tool. Now when I select this with the selection tool, I see a widget in one corner but not the others. And what that means is if I click and drag, I'm going to be doing all of them. But what if I want to do individual corners? Well, that's where I have to go to my direct select tool. Click once on it, and then click and drag. or click once, shift click, and I can do the top two. So same basic rules apply. Now the last thing I want to point out is this even works with shapes that you draw with the pen tool. So I've got this unique shape here that I've drawn with the pen tool. If I select it with my selection tool, I don't see any corner widgets. But if I go to my direct select tool, I can round all of them or I can click it once and then click and drag and do a single or click once shift click another and do selected corners at the same time so if you haven't found this feature yet it's really nice and can allow you to create some nice unique well-rounded corners I do want to point out one last thing here with rounding corners so I'm gonna zoom in here I've got a rectangle and I'm gonna round all the corners Let's say I like that shape. I'm going to make a copy of it. And I'm going to show you something that you need to be aware of. So what if I were to scale this shape? What would happen to this corner? Would it stay the same proportions as it is now? Or would the radius stay the same and as the shape got smaller, it would appear larger? It all depends on this setting here. So I'm going to go to my scale tool. I'm going to double click on it. And by default, scale corners and this one is turned off. So I'm going to take it back to the default setting. And if I choose to scale this, what happens is the radius stays exactly the same 
And therefore, if I take it small enough, it actually turns into a circle at some point. And that's usually not how I want that behavior to happen. What I typically want to have happen when I scale something, I'll double click on this again, is I want the corners to scale proportionately to the rest of the piece. This setting here, scale stroke and effects, will affect something different, but I always turn both of these on. And now I'm going to scale it. And this is how I typically want it to look, that as I scale the rectangle larger or smaller, the rounded corner is adjusted proportionately with the rest of the shape. Hopefully that gave you a little insight in how to use the corner widgets in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching this Illustrator quick tip. I hope it was helpful. If you like what you saw, please hit like and subscribe below. And if you get a chance, visit my website at fatflydesign.com.